All year, COVID-19 vaccines were hailed as the light at the end of the tunnel, but now that it's here, the general public in Oregon may have to wait another eight months to get a shot. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. Renee McCullough has the night off. That was the stunning news from the Oregon Health Authority today, and KCI 9 News reporter Jillian Smuckler joins us live to break it all down. Jillian. Matt, if you're not an essential worker, which is defined as someone whose job puts them at risk, then you're going to have to wait a long time before you can get the COVID-19 vaccine. And frustration from many people on the street is growing tonight, as not even 2% of the state's residents have been vaccinated so far. And here's the latest twist. Teachers are next in line to get the shot ahead of older people who don't live in nursing homes. So how did the state come up with this decision? On Thursday, Oregon's COVID-19 Vaccine Advisory Committee met for the first time to discuss how critical workers and at-risk populations will be prioritized in the rollout. Health officials say after everyone in the Phase 1A group is vaccinated, educators and other staff at pre-kindergarten to grade 12 schools and early learning centers will be the state's next immediate priority. But when Governor Brown was asked why the state isn't following the CDC's recommendation that those who are over 75 and have major health conditions go before teachers, she says getting children back to the classroom is her priority. Look, this is really, really challenging. We have seniors in congregate care facilities, particularly in skilled nursing care and in uh, memory uh, units that are getting vaccinated as we speak. Um, in terms of seniors that are living independently, I encourage them to continue to take precautions. Brown says educators and staff at community colleges and universities are in phase 1B. In terms of her rationale behind prioritizing early and high school educators over higher education, she says the impacts distance learning has had on young children, where the vast majority of brain development happens in the first five years, has been detrimental, and that's why she believes this group should be a priority. In just last month, Oregon Brown's, er, Governor Kate Brown says she hopes that more Oregon schools, especially those at the elementary level, will transition back to in-person learning by February 15th. And she also says that the Oregon Health Authority and the Oregon Education Department has until January 19th to evaluate and update the current metrics needed to go back to the classroom. But again, it is ultimately up to the districts to make that final call on when they choose to do so. Reporting live in Eugene, Jillian Smuckler, KZI 9 News. Great information, Jillian. Thank you.